All right, so here we're going to look at doing some operation, uh, some additional operations on, on raster data. Um, we're going to look first here at doing a, a resampling operation. Okay, so to resample raster in ArcGIS, you want to use the resample tool. So we'll go to search for that. It's under data management and there's resample. So you basically have to give it an input image. I'm just going to use this clipped image for speed. And you have to give it an output cell size. So right now it's 10 by 10. So let's change it to a 30 by 30. And then, um, oh, that's, that's fine. And then 30 by 30 and then the method, so f let's use bilinear interpolation. So our options here are nearest neighbor, bilinear, cubic, and majority. And let's um, name that. So I'm going to call this um, Zurich um, uh, and then we'll call it uh, 30m.tiff. Okay, so let's run that. And we should end up with a 30 by 30 meter grid. Zoom it in here. Okay, so this is the extent of our image. I want to change out the symbology there. And you kind of you can see it looks coarser. And if we go in here to there we go, properties, source, raster information, see that now it's a 30 by 30 meter grid and it still has this 10 bands. Okay, another way you can do resampling type operations is using pixel aggregation. Um, so that's aggregate. So here we basically would feed it an image. And the cell factor is how, uh, the order the order of magnitude that you want to increase the cell size by. So if we did like a factor of 5, we should get back, it's a 10 by 10, so that should now be a 50 by 50. And then we will do sum, we will change it to, let's do median. So it will basically, of all the cells, the smaller original cells that fall inside of our new bigger cell, it's going to calculate the the median and return that and then we're going to turn off extend expand extend if needed um, so the issue with this is since it's a moving window type operation you can't really you won't have a full window for the cells so the the uh, uh, edge cells okay so we'll hit run there Let's see what happens okay so there we go so now if we zoom into this Zoom to layer, oop, sorry, new properties, source, raster information. We can see now that it's a 50 by 50. One thing that you'll notice is that it didn't, um, it didn't calculate, it didn't only calculate one band. And that's just how this tool works. So if you want to aggregate, you have to actually do each band separately and then like stack them up um, using like composite bands. Um, the degrade tool in Erdas Imagine basically does the same thing, but it can do it from a multi-band image. That's just the way it's written in the software. Another thing I wanted to point out, uh, let me see, turn some stuff off here. Clip. All right, so no, this is our, you can kind of see here that the output is not actually the same it's a smaller extent, right, than the input, and that's because um, it couldn't calculate, it couldn't degrade these cells because it didn't have a full, like, you know, five by five cell window on the margin, so it actually decreased the cell size. So if we go over here to the other edge, zoom out, you can see that it started on this side, so when it got over here, Zoom out again. <laughs> so when it got over here, it didn't have a full window left at the edge, so it just stopped where it had a full window. 
And if we go down to the bottom, we should see a similar pattern where it should be touching on the bottom. Yeah, so because so basically it starts on the lower left corner, which means that unless it just happens to be a right number of cells to divide as, you know, into a whole, you know, whole number, then you're going to have lose some information on the top margin and then on the right margin there.